What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy College. Today, I want to go over five waiver wire pickups for starting pitching. First up on the list, we have Casey Mize, the Detroit Tigers young prospect who has looked really, really good. I was super excited when he first came up because I was like, oh, he just has really good stuff. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts, but he's very effective and a pitcher you definitely have to look at. Now, for Dynasty Leagues and Keeper Leagues, definitely, definitely look at Casey Mize because I see him having a very bright future for the Tigers. And if you're in a mixed league or an AL only league, I would definitely go after Casey Mize if you are in need of a starter. He looks very promising. Up next, we have Jake Ordorizzi. Now, he's starting for the Astros today, and he pitched a little bit last year, and now he's on the Astros. In 2019, he was very, very solid with the Twins and definitely a guy you should target in any format. He's a really, really effective pitcher. He's been throughout his career. And on the Astros, I really like that mix right there because he can get a lot of wins and be very effective for the Astros. He's 40% owned and definitely a guy you should target. Up next, we have Hey Oscar Wynoa. Now, this guy's 19% owned. And I honestly did not know really who he was, but he's looked really, really good so far. And he's definitely a guy you should look at and kind of monitor because if he keeps this rolling, he could be a very, very good pitcher for the Braves. And he's had two very solid starts. He actually struck out 10 Marlins hitters yesterday. And I would definitely look at him because he could be sneaky, sneaky good this season. Up next, we have Wade Miley. Now, Wade Miley is 22% owned and you're not going to get a lot of really big like quality starts from him apparently because he they, he got pulled out of the fifth inning yesterday for those of you who have quality starts but he is very effective and I love that he's on the Reds and the Reds are going to give him plenty of run support he's just a very efficient effective pitcher I would look at him for NL only leagues and deeper mixed leagues because I just don't know really where his ceiling is but I think he could be Pretty effective this season. He plays Cleveland on Sunday, so that's kind of a very nice matchup there. I don't think Cleveland are really that special in terms of hitting and really overall as a team. But Wade Miley could seriously still be effective for the Braves if you're in a deeper format. And lastly, we have Johnny Cueto. Now, he's 35 years old, 29% rostered, and he was really good. He's been really good so far. He was really good yesterday. And definitely in NL only leagues, definitely look at Cueto. I still think he can be an effective pitcher. Now with him, I don't know if he'll just blow up out of just randomly because it's kind of, he's kind of an interesting pitcher because he's just, he has his ups and downs basically. That's what I'm trying to say. But so far he's looked really good and definitely worth a guy you should look at if you're in deeper leagues or if you just believe in the Johnny Cueto and you just want to ride that bandwagon right there with Johnny Cueto because he's done it before. He's looked very good before. He's, his ERA this season is 2.51. So, I don't know. Cueto could be back to the old Cueto. We shall see. Thank you all for watching. More videos coming up.